Hello, my name is Nitin Karandikar and I'm the Chair of Pathology here at the University of Iowa. I'm extremely proud of our integrated department of over 550 people that runs this storied pathology residency program. I remember my first visit to Iowa City when I came with my wife and son. Both my wife and I have always thought of ourselves and probably still think of ourselves as big city people. But that first visit changed everything and here we are seven and a half years later having a blast in Iowa City. What we noticed in that very first visit was an environment of intense collegiality and a culture that is passionate about the educational and mentorship mission for various career choices. One thing we know as a department is that being a good pathologist is not easy business. You're expected to be an excellent diagnostician and laboratorian, but in addition to that, you're also expected to be a great educator of whatever system you're part of and an investigator or researcher, if not an active researcher yourself, the ability to look up literature and keep your system at the forefront of diagnostics. And that is why, as a program, we strive to give you all the tools to become an excellent pathologist. In terms of education, we have several experiences for you. You will have direct educational experience uh, as educators of medical students' small groups, you will present at tumor boards where you're constantly interacting with our clinical colleagues and talking about disease entities and its management. But as an outlier nationally, we have an externship of post-sophomore fellowship program where every year we host six enthusiastic medical students that team up with our residents. And so the educational enterprise is rich on a daily basis. As researchers, you will have the opportunity to get involved with various types of projects depending on your own career goals. You can do clinical projects with our faculty. I have not heard a single example of a resident approaching some faculty with an idea and getting no as an answer. We highly encourage these projects. We encourage attendance at meetings to present your projects and to turn them into publications. We have management projects in the department, education projects in the department. And if you are interested in basic science research or at least getting exposed to it, we have plenty of opportunities in that arena as well. I am particularly proud that in the last several years, our department has jumped over 30 to 35 ranks in NIH funding. And what that means for you is that you have a plethora of investigators investigating extremely competitive and interesting areas of biology that you could get involved in. And of course, we will train you to be outstanding diagnosticians and laboratorians. We really believe on a hands-on approach. Nothing replaces that. Remember, being a pathologist is not an easy job. And that is why you will be front and center, regardless of what rotation you're on, whether it's in anatomic pathology or clinical pathology areas, we are a highly balanced program, be it on surgical pathology, including all the various subspecialties, on cytopathology. We all know that the diagnosis doesn't stop at that HE or immunohistochemistry slide. And so you will learn how to integrate all that exploding molecular information in our newly renovated molecular lab that now sits adjacent or on top of surgical pathology and right next to hematopathology. We particularly are proud of providing an outstanding autopsy education, whether it be as a foundation for you to go on and become a medical examiner like several of our prior trainees have, or if you join a small community practice, you will be ready on day one to provide this extremely important service to your group. In clinical pathology, again, you are front and center, whether you might be a resident in microbiology when the COVID-19 crisis struck us and you are front and center in implementing our testing. Or you might be on transfusion medicine where not only do you have the blood bank and the phoresis service, but we also have a donor center where you might be involved in implementing collection of convalescent plasma. On the chemistry service, you will be involved with amazing automation and auto verification processes. 
and get involved in both management as well as informatics projects. We have a close partnership with our VA where you will get to go for anatomic pathology and CP rotations and be able to practice as a pathologist within that structure. And of course, last but not least, my own area of involvement, hematopathology, and in particular flow cytometry. I can probably wax eloquent about how you will learn flow cytometry at the University of Iowa, which is in a way that is different from 90, 95% of the centers in the country. We practice cluster analysis and I have multiple hours of YouTube videos, if you're interested, that you can go and watch to learn that unique method in which we train you as a pathologist to analyze flow cytometry data. And you will graduate being extremely comfortable in doing that. All in all, we really believe in this hands-on approach to your training. And going back to my very first visit, where I sense this passion for the educational mission, which was a big reason why we ended up coming here in the first place. To this day, I can share with you that over the last seven and a half years, some of the most intense arguments that I have seen break out between faculty are very endearingly over educational issues. This is very rare to happen at academic medical centers, and I'm extremely proud of the team we have that is going to take care of your education and try to experiment all the time so that we are providing you the best residency experience ever. Thank you.